Hello and welcome to the latest episode of Gin with Spearing. Get innovating now with Rutiko. Today's topic is all about smart machines and our workshops that we're undertaking. So this is our mainly our sensor demonstration case uh, with IO-Link, uh, but I'll start from the bottom left, which has got our Stratix 5700 managed switch, which is Cisco inside with Rockwell functionality designed to integrate into our PLCs and SCADA. Um, we've got SFP fiber ports, um, and the, what a managed switch will allow you to do is prioritization of traffic, security, and provide quality of service. The other benefits of our switches is you can do network address translation and also uh, DHCP by port, which is what we were utilizing for the 525 earlier. The other things we have in here is a IO-Link master, which we use for connecting our Send Smart sensors into, which is an armor block. We also have our Point IO, IO adapter with another IO-Link header on there as well. We have a couple of photoelectric centers and we have a small laser rangefinder. Another interesting part of this demonstration box is our wireless industrial wireless access point, which is a HMS wireless bolt. And this allows you to have remote and mobile access to your PLC and SCADAs and screens without having to be stuck next to a panel or plugged in. And this is a real simple device to integrate. It's panel mountable. All it needs is power and ethernet cable to it. You can make it secure as well and that will give you, enable your operators and your technicians to interact with your machine without having to be stuck in one location. Traditionally, sensors are a fairly uh, simple product uh, which are taught locally by the uh, operator or the installer using a local uh, adjuster or a teach button on the device. Obviously, this can lead to issues with uh, changeover times, with product variants. So by using an IO-Link enabled sensor, you can get the full details and diagnostics out of the sensor as well as sending remote teach and reteach functions. So, so here we have a photoelectric sensor, which is sat on IO-Link. We can take all the sensor information out of that, which includes the vendor, the catalog number, product description. We also take the signal strength of the sensor as well. And this allows us to do such things as make people aware of when a sensor has either been gone out of alignment or might need cleaning. Another function we've got turned on at the moment, if you say had a faulty sensor or a sensor that needed looking at, is the ability to turn on a locator LED within a sensor, remotely from the HMI or the PLC, which allows your operative to go and find that sensor and replace or make what adjustments they need doing. One really useful function of the IO-Link is if you do damage a sensor, if you go and get a replacement sensor out of the stores, you can fit that into the link and it'll reteach it to meet the exact um, settings required for your production run. Thanks for that, Nick. Support is always available from Retico. Use the below links and subscribe to our YouTube channel today to see more practical product videos. And again, look out for the next Gin with Spearing video. Like and subscribe. Thank you. Should we try that Japanese gin? Congratulations to England and South Africa for getting to the Rugby World Cup final. Good luck to both teams.